Before we get into the rest of the recordings for the videos, I want to go over a really cool project uh, that allows us to watch the source code and auto restart the server. That way we don't have to constantly remember to come back into the terminal, hit control C, uh, and then up arrow and return again to constantly run uh, cargo run with our Axum server every single time we make a change to test it. And if you're coming from Node.js and maybe something with Express or some other API there, you might be used to using something like Nodemon, which will do that for you. This is exactly the same. So the project we're gonna be using is something called Cargo Watch. If we head over uh, to Crates.io, uh, we can search for Cargo Watch, and it should be the first um, item on the list here. A uh, Cargo Watch um, allow, is a global install and allows us to run Cargo Space Watch and then just something with it. So let's go ahead and install this globally. Now to install globally, we just do Cargo uh, Space Install. So this is different than the Cargo Add that we did previously. So Cargo Install, Cargo Watch, I'm gonna copy that. I'm going to paste that into my terminal here. So as I mentioned, this is going to install globally for my user here. Once this is installed, I should be able to now do cargo space watch. So it's sort of like a command that's been added to cargo behind the scenes. All right, so I'm here in the root of our directory. This is where I would be able to say cargo run. We're gonna do cargo watch. Let's uh, do a dash h to sort of see the help here. Um, and I want to execute a command whenever there are any changes. Now I can use dash x or dash s for this. Um, the big difference here is that we have exec or shell. Now if it's an s that's going to run any command whatsoever if it's an x it's going to run a command after automatically running cargo before then so if we want to run something like cargo run we would do cargo watch dash x run let's try it cargo watch dash x run it compiles and it changed our, uh, it, it's now running a hello world. Okay, let's go into our hello world here. Let's make a change. Let's, um, let's actually say instead of this route, I want hello, you know, hello is the route. So if I hit save, it detects that change, it recompiles. If I come back over to Thunder Client uh, and I try to run this, it, 404 not found. We actually have to now go to hello, for me to see that. So that's how we can now watch any changes. I'm gonna be using Cargo Watch, uh, so that way I can consistently save, check things, and, uh, and not have to constantly remember to hit that. That's actually been a cause of problems in the past where I forget to rerun the server and then wonder, why isn't anything working? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.